Hello everyone, Mark Wormsley here. It's time for one of our hot top tens. The arts and culture hot top ten um, is a bit of fun that we do with our members, our full members, just to give them an opportunity to share their favourite items in certain categories across the arts and culture spectrum, if they have any. Um, I should point out um, uh, that Michael, who's joining me today, Michael Harrison, um, has not had any warning of this at all. Um, so it's entirely off the cuff and um, it's always quite fun to, it, it's, it's, a, it's a sort of fun way to put people on the spot so that we, for the benefit of those who haven't met Michael, um, then you perhaps have an idea of, of where his interests really lie. So first up, Michael, um, is, I know I should explain, Michael, um, that you are an artist in your own right. You are the director of Scripty, which is a service that digitizes heritage collections. And you're also the co-founder and director at Your Heritage UK, the, um, the, the home of a, a wonderful mobile application called Museum, U-S-E-E-U-M, which can be loaded to a smartphone and provides a, a really quite clever guide to those visiting uh, galleries, uh, libraries, art galleries, and other venues. So that's the background. Michael's contact details will be wherever this appears. But let's dive in, shall we? So the first thing I'd like to ask you, Michael, is um, do you have a favorite building? Um, yes. Um... I think um, I I think I'd um, I think I'd go for Canterbury Cathedral. Okay, um, that's not in your neck of the woods, though. No, is it? no. no. I, I assume you've been there, perhaps even worked there. Been there many times. Yeah. Yes. So we'll we'll there'll be a list of the of your answers here that where this appears, so people can go and have a look at the wonders of it. Thank you very much. That's a great start. Um, do you have a favourite book? It can uh, be fiction or non. Um, favourite. Uh, let me. See. Um, favourite book is a difficult one because I have so many. Um. um your desert island book. I, uh, my desert island book, I think, would be um, uh, yes. My desert island book would be a uh, history of the world of uh, in a in a hundred uh, in a hundred objects by um, McGregor Neil McGregor. That would uh, be my uh, desert uh, island book. Yes, I love that. And is that the one that was serialised on radio? That's Ford? the one that was serialised. Yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. Excellent. Good. So we've got the book. Um, do you have a favourite dancer or dance group? Um, I would have thought um, Pan's People. Oh, I love that. Pan's People, who became Legs and Co. Um, <laughs> and that was, the, that was a, a, a Thursday evening guilty secret on top of the pot, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a favourite Pan's person? No. <laughs> no, okay. I think my brother and I did. Love that. Brilliant. Um, but they used to dance to the songs that were in the charts when they couldn't get exactly. the artists yeah. in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Now, this one, um, I I'd like you to tell me, based on its your perception of its culture, what country would you choose to live in if you weren't able to live in the country of your current residence or your birth? Oh, um, definitely would be Greece. Greece? Yes. Okay. I assume that's for, is that for historical interest reasons? Oh, perhaps, uh, and, 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 and for the extraordinary luminosity of light. Okay. Standing at the top of Santorini, perhaps. Yes. Yeah, love it. Okay, excellent. Now, do you have other other participant or um, uh, um, a, a a member of the crowd? Do you have a favourite sport? 
Um, um, horse racing. Okay. It's entry week this week, I think. Yes. It is, yes. Um, trivia question for you. What's the name of the road that crosses Aintree Race Course? Um, the begins with M, doesn't it? The Melling Road. Yes, excellent. I do love a bit of trivia. Yes. Um, um, next question. Do you have a favourite musical genre? Um, well, I, I'm I'm pro. I mean, I'm 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 very Catholic in taste, and I go from right the way across the whole spectrum. Um, are we talking about a musical instrument, or are we talking about um, whether one likes big bop or um, classical or swing or whatever? yeah, the genre, it's the genre really, but the, it may be that the in favorite. Well, I, I'm, I'm I'm primarily a, 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 if I'm listening, I'm listening to classical music more than I, I listen to anything else. Right. But I but I but you know I go from um, Bach to the Traveling Wimbers, really. Brilliant. I love it. My current fascination is the organist Anna Lapwood. I don't know if you're familiar with her. She's absolutely worth a look. Incredible player. Um, she's one of the a very few organists who are allowed to rehearse on the organ at the Albert Hall oh, really? overnight. Yeah. Oh, really? So she's become a bit nocturnal in that respect. Fascinating though. Um, okay. Do you have a favorite visual artist? Oh, um, it's got to be Piero Francesca. Okay, I thought it might be. <laughs> Piero della Francesca. Um, the reason for that is that Michael has done some extraordinary work interpreting the flagellation of Christ, um, which you'll be able to find links to wherever this appears. So it's a fascinating story, but thank you. So I'm not surprised that um, Piero della Francesca is your chosen but a visual artist do you have a particular favorite play or musical um it would be i think i'd have to go for um a musical i'd have to go for oklahoma actually okay excellent oklahoma it is and then do you have a bit a favorite film michael um yes i would go for genevieve genevieve i i remember watching that and they were traveling down the a24 at dorking yes and in genevieve that was a great film um who was the lead in that? Oh, oh, what's her name? Um, Kenneth Moore. Kenneth Moore and John, um and Kay Kendall. Um and um Yeah. Oh. Yes. John yeah, Briggs. Brilliant. Yes. Love it. Um and the last one I wanted to ask you before I do you a, a couple of either ors, um, what was the last thing that apart from me, what was the last thing that made you laugh? Um, ah yes. Um, just, just can can you hold one moment? Yes. Can, can you can you um you can edit this, can't you? So I, I'll just just find the. Shall be one one second. Okay. So we're back with Michael, right. we're, we're waiting to, to find out what was the last thing that made Michael laugh. Over to um, you, Michael. Um, a, 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 um, a birthday card which I, I sent to my, um, I say a birthday card, a, um, a golden wedding card which I sent to my sister-in-law and brother-in-law. And it had a, a, a couple, it was an illustration um, of one of these mock, well, uh, um, comic cards from the Illustrated London News. And it was titled, um, Henry next door kisses his wife every time she leaves the house. Why don't you do that? And the response is, well, I barely know the woman. <laughs> love it. <laughs> I love that. 
Thank you for that. Um, there was an, a, I heard a rather uh, a funny story about this. Two old gentlemen were, were um, playing golf and they were on the, the, the sixth green, which was close to the road. Um, and um, as they were approaching, the, about to play, the, play out on the, on the sixth green, a hearse drove slowly past on the road. And, and one of the, the golfers took his cap off and lowered his gaze as the hearse passed by. And his, his playing partner said, that was very, very respectful of you. He said, well, we were married for 60 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> love the thought of somebody playing golf at their wife on their wife's funeral day. Anyway, I digress. Thank you very much for doing those. We now have a, a much better idea of where Michael Harrison's interests lie. But I've got a final one for you here. I'm going to give you one or the other, and you've got to choose one or the other. Okay. Right. Red or white wine? Sorry. Red or white wine? Red. Radio or television? Um, radio. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Um, dressing up or dressing down? Dressing up. Shower or bath? Bath. Numbers or words? Words. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Night owl or early bird? Early bird. Book or podcast? Book. There we go. Michael, thank you so much for doing this. Um, I do this for the benefit of those who haven't yet had the pleasure of meeting you, so they can get a bit of a sense of of, of what makes another member tick. So thank you very much. We'll put contact details in wherever these appear. Um, but once again, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for the opportunity you've given to me. That's splendid. Thank you so much.